What is up ladies and gentlemen, you got Chad here for Game Review HQ and today we're gonna look at Metal Reaper. This game was released by JC Planet and developed by a Korean studio N2 Games. This post-apocalyptic grungy isometric shooter is set to blow your minds. Or so it would like. This game was just released last April 29 and its English version came out last May 21, making it fairly new in the whole MMORPG scene. This game's also been on Steam Greenlight since October 2014. No news yet as to when the PC's number one source for games would absorb Metal Reaper, but judging by the lack of activity in the announcements page, it isn't looking too good. Back to the game. You were a dude or a girl with an itchy trigger finger and you got targets all around. The space station humanity was in just crashed and for some reason nuclear attacks rained down and people created the Metal Reaper as a special combat unit, which is Weird, because since everyone's dead and or dying, why the hell would you need another combat unit? But then a boot camp was created so that you could be trained to become Metal Reapers, and then there was an explosion. It, the story's just a bundle of confusion. Let's just discuss the game's graphics. Anyway, the graphics for this game, as you can see, are not that phenomenal. They are, well, they're blocky. It kind of feels like you're playing the game on a PS1. Yes, that's right, you heard me. A PS1 in 2015. The moment the character selection screen boots up, boom, instant nostalgia. I swear, I thought I was shot way back into fifth grade thanks to this game. Sure, the graphics may be subpar for what we're used to in the current gen systems, but hey, it still looks better than most games. Character creation is as in-depth as most MMOs go. I mean, it's no black desert, but still you got a few options there on your plate. You got name, a former job, this dictates your passive bonuses. I personally picked martial artist because Bruce Lee is in the photo and you just can't ignore Bruce Lee. At least I think that's Bruce Lee. I, I hope the game doesn't get sued for copyright infringement. Then there's the hairstyle, a face, a face that you will never see because this game's, this game has PS1 quality graphics. I am not gonna lie. Alright, take note that these options hold no bearing whatsoever to how your character behaves in the game. It's all aesthetics. Then of course there's the shape, well, the shape of your boobs if you're a girl and the shoulders if you're a guy. I mean look at it, there's a special slider dedicated for your character's sex appeal. Awesome! Just what this game needs. Those adjustable boobs and shoulders, wow, wow, never have triangles and spheres been sexier. So take a note from Metal Reaper future game developers. You can forget, entirely forget, about the quality of the graphics in your game, but don't forget about the adjustable boobies. As for the cutscenes, they're built into the game, so you don't really get to see many flashy pre-rendered cutscenes. Just something like this. Yeah, that's it. That's the cutscene right there. Well, granted the game's new and maybe they'll install a patch later on that will address this aesthetic issue, but come on. A little cutscene won't hurt your first release. How can it hurt? As for the environment, it kind of looks drab. Well, that's a given because the game caters to a post-apocalyptic genre. But other than the miles and miles of wasteland, there's really nothing more. Graphic lag isn't an issue for this game because it consumes very little resources on your PC. And add to that the fact that in the entire game download is just about 1.2 gigs. That's it. So the graphics in this game kind of feel like it was released in 2009, and it's not really a bad thing, but considering that there are MMOs out there that are pushing the envelope in the graphics department, I'd say that Metal Reaper is lacking in this respect. As for the audio, the game's got a nice, heavy, metal looping audio background music. The changes depending on the map, and it's pretty apt for the environment that the game is trying to emulate. That hard, tough, angry, I hate everything around me feel is reflected on the soundtrack. Other than the awesome background music, everything else just falls flat. Gunfire and explosions fall flat, monster sounds and cries for pain are standard and repeating for every monster and human that you murder with your guns. There's not many ambient sounds, gun and ammunition sounds are standard across the board, and PCs don't even have custom audio. Your character doesn't even have custom dialogue, which is weird because earlier in the character selection screen, it asks you to pick a voice. Turns out this voice option will only see use in the grunting and the occasional OUCH audio clip. Listen to it. There's little else to say about the game's audio because there's not much to talk about with this aspect. 
moving on for the gameplay as well as for the gameplay and story of metal reaper you are a newbie in this boot camp like i said a while ago and then there's an explosion and everyone's dead so you pick up their weapons as the dying instructors rush to teach you how the game works before they breathe their last breath oh, all right admittedly maybe the story is not this game's strength there are a few mmos out there who, whose story goes beyond the intro and this game even forgoes the intro. Once you start the game, that's it. You're given control over your character, you're given a gun, and you're told what to do. The game features four classes, Predator, Panzer, Sniper, and Supporter. They're kind of like the stable MMORPG classes. The Predator is like your basic Berserker, high damage, high explosives, mid-range HP, high armor, and stuff like that. The Panzer is your typical tank. The Sniper, had take, the sniper gives high damage but can take that much damage itself it's got low hp it has high evasion to compensate so there's that and then you've got the supporter which as the name implies supports the game features a no frills minimap that tells you exactly where you need to be for whatever quest it is you're doing this makes questing a whole lot easier for mmo newbies but kind of feels a little dumbed down especially for people like me who have got a lot of experience in other mmos there's also this auto move and warp to town feature. Auto move is like an autopilot that drives your character toward the quest points as you get pelted by monster attacks from all directions. Keep in mind though that when you use this feature, you will subject your character at a certain risk since you might die along the way. Warp to town is a neat little button that instantly transports you to the nearest out to the nearest outpost. Outposts are like your one-stop shop for everything you need. Accessories, weapons, ammunition, party, and company creation. Companies, by the way, are this game's version of guilds. The outposts also have coupon shops, cash shops. Well, as for that last bit, you don't really need to go to the outpost for a cash shop because you've got a neat little button in your UI that gives you access to that cash shop. In-game stores also feature a neat buyback option for those moments when you're clicking hastily and accidentally sell a rare item. Well, technically selling a rare item shouldn't be that much of a problem because rare items are abound in this game. Equipment sets, amazingly powerful weapons, armors that negate damage almost totally, rain down like mana from heaven. This is also probably why balancing could be an issue. As I reached level 4 and started getting rare equipment, I find myself accidentally killing mini bosses that I know for sure are meant to be harder to kill. I see myself killing enemies with one shot. I swear, weapons in Metal Reaper have an effective range, but I mean, this effective range should negate their damage, but it doesn't really slow you down from mowing hordes upon hordes of enemies coming right at you. The game becomes too easy when these weapons are introduced, and there could be some players out there who find this lack of challenge uninteresting. The quests also pose no challenge for the player. They are your usual MMORPG quests that involve getting an item and bringing it to an NPC, or killing a certain number of monsters and getting a certain number of items. I, I mean, it wouldn't be much of a problem since most MMO players are used to these quests, but the mechanics set in place in combination with these standard quests are killing the challenge in this game. The mechanics of Metal Reaper handholds you via small guides that pop up in your interface that tells you how to do things and where to go and what to say. Monsters drop power-ups that only increase your killing potential, and on top of that, you get achievements all the time. These achievements give you passive bonuses to further increase your killing potential. In addition, the monsters in this desolate wasteland respawn so fast. If you want to grind, it's gonna be a breeze. So, quick respawn times. Power-ups, passive bonuses, really really strong guns, armor that negates almost all damage. Given these factors, you kind of think that each player in Metal Reaper is going to be like a god among men. When you think about it, it kind of feels like the game is playing itself and you're just a meat machine meant to click the mouse to grant all the game's wishes. It's as if it's bending over backwards to give you a good time while playing it. As for the community... Metal Reaper is as populous as you'd expect from a new game. I mean, me people aren't flocking to play it yet. I mean, look at this video. As you've watched it, how many other players have you seen during the past few minutes? That would be none. Anyway, 
Maybe if we give it a few more months, we'll get the population of players roaming around this desolate wasteland. That would be enough for us to call it a massive multiplayer. Alright, to end this video, for the pros, Metal Reaper is a good game if you're starting out in this genre. If you need an easy game that will ease you into the MMO shooter experience, this is definitely the game for you. Leveling up is easy, quests are straightforward, combat is a no-brainer, it's got mechanics in place that will help you do what you have to do in-game, like power-ups, strong weapons, easy to find rare items, in addition lag isn't an issue provided that you pick the right server. You don't need a strong computer for this game so a lot of people can play it, add to that the fact that this game is free. Yep, free. That's always a plus, right? Well, as for the cons, the game feels like a browser game. Something you could play in armor games even. It feels rushed, half-baked, and half-finished. Then again, the game could be targeting an entirely different demographic and that I'm just not part of it. That's it for Metal Reaper. Once again, this has been Chad of Game Review HQ. Thanks for watching.